Hi, this is Paul Kotolowski from Columbus Advanced Manufacturing Systems, and you've recently activated eDrawings Viewer. I wanted to take a couple moments to show you how to use this tool, and maybe from a little different perspective. The viewer is capable of opening several different file formats just by selecting them with the left click of your mouse, including SolidWorks files. Let me show you how SOLIDWORKS files are translated to eDrawings and how you can use them and some options that you may be able to request from the sender. So I have a very simple part here. What I'm going to do is just come up here and translate them or publish them to eDrawings. Now this is what the sender is doing or the person that's creating this file and I'm not going to go into any particular options right now because this is typically the way most people are going to use them. I'm simply going to say OK and eDrawings takes a couple of pictures of my parts. Now you notice that this is eDrawings Professional but I'm just going to be showing you the options that you will be able to use in the free viewer. So in the viewer, this is the way the part's going to open up. And it's going to open up, as you will see it, as a EPRT file. Now, if you have a two-button mouse, these tools are going to be very important to you up here. First and foremost, I want to show you this zoom button. Again, this is with a two-button mouse. If I take this and just left-click and hold that button down you're going to see how the part is going to be able to uh, go away from me get smaller or uh, be enlarged depending on how I move this slot move my mouse up or down if I want to rotate the part as if I had it in my hand I could select this rotate button and again with the left mouse I can flip this part around and look at it from any particular perspective or view that I would like to okay Another view is going to be the pan button, which is going to allow me to move this around in a planar sensation. Uh, what I'd like to do at this point, perhaps, is zoom to a specific area. And with this button depressed, I'm going to just create a little rectangle here over this particular hole, and I'm able to zoom into it. If I want to go back and zoom this thing out to fit centrally located in my screen, that's the button for me. This next guy over here is going to show me some view settings. So if I want to look at this thing as a perspective part, or if I want to look at it with ambient occlusion, which is a variation of some lighting techniques that, that SOLIDWORKS and eDrawings incorporate, that's the button that I would, I would depress as well. You need to turn these both off independently to go back to a, a neutral format. The view orientations is going to be another very popular button because from here I can look at the top of top view of my part, the front, the bottom, look at my part from the left side, look at it from the right side, look at it from the back side, or look at it from an isometric perspective. Finally, this last button up here is going to say display style. You'll notice that this defaults to shaded with edges. So the part is shaded and it's got a reinforced black line around a specific uh, or all the specific edges. You can turn that off and just look at it as shaded. But understand you're typically looking at a gray part against a gray background and oftentimes distant corners can disappear on you that way. The other option that you will have is wireframe. Okay. So I'm going to go back here to shaded with edges. I want to draw your attention down here to the very bottom of the screen and reset is going to reset the part into the orientation that you first saw it when it first came to you. Okay, I'm going to push that back a little bit. I have an animate button which is going to automatically run this as I run this viewer through here uh, through the different views that you saw in the view orientation. Okay, and it slowly goes through all the different views. I'm going to stop that right about now and just go back here. Okay. The other thing I want to bring to your attention is that the measure tool is turned off. It's not an option. And this is one of the things that uh, you may want to suggest to the sender or creator of this particular file 
uh, to be able to turn on for you because again as much as this is a uh, a free viewer uh, the sender in this case using SolidWorks uh, eDrawings Professional has the ability to turn that tool on for you but he has to bring it uh, right as he creates it so let me come back here and show you how that's done in this case when he goes to publish this to eDrawings I'm going to go here to where it says options and in the options I the first option at the very top is to uh, me use the give permission to use the measure tool with this file okay again he's got the option of saving this to many many different formats but we're going to turn on the option just this time to use e-drawings and the e-drawing measure tool so in this case he just turns that option on says OK and then OK again now in this case we go through the same kind of gyrations e-drawings will open up for you as you import this file and this is specific to this file now you have a measure tool when I select the measure tool I can measure this in any kind of uh, units that I care for and read the angles in degrees or radians but now I have the ability to measure this part and as you see I get this little icon that comes up here and as I hover over that line and left click on it it tells me that it's three inches long if I want to select I'm, I'm clicking outside here in space so to speak to kind of clear the measure tool but if I select this surface and this surface it's going to tell me down here in the box that that creates a 45 degree angle if I want to look at this particular hole it's going to tell me by left clicking on it the diameter and the depth of the hole so those are the options that are available to you if the sender includes them obviously if the sender also just simply wants to send you a drawing this is the drawing that he would be creating for that particular part publishes that to eDrawing as well I'm just simply going to say OK to this and as eDrawings open up or you open that file up in eDrawings this is what you're going to have okay now notice the rotate button is not available it's grayed out because this is a two-dimensional device and this way I'm going to zoom into here again pretending that I've got a two button mouse and I have the option of moving this around again this is Paul Kotlowski from Columbus Advanced Manufacturing Systems I hope you enjoyed using this tool I hope you enjoyed this video and if there's anything that we can do for you in addition to just showing you how to use it please let us know